Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Here we are with you for the Roundup show on Friday the 12th of November 2021. Another really busy week, pushed on uh, quite a lot. So anyway, all started on Monday uh, where we had the next section of the bite size uh, video went up. And on this particular one, we're still working on our Spitfire that we got here. Uh, we were talking about just laying down single color. Sounds quite straightforward, but obviously there's a lot more to it than uh, obviously just spraying down paint. To get that nice sort of satin finish to your paintwork, get it nice and even right the way over. So basically on this one, we do two colors. Obviously we put the lighter gray uh, underneath. Then we've got that sort of ocean gray on the top as well, ready for the camo work to go in on there. So that's what that one was all about. And we'll look at that in a little bit more detail uh, later on. We also had up for you the uh, review of the Tiger. This is the beautiful 148 scale uh, T90 and you get the Gaz Tiger uh, down here in the background as well in there. So it's a two in one kit as well. So that was a pretty good day down on there. Tuesday, uh, it was back to sort of tall Tuesday and John was down with me. Uh, so we were doing all things photo etch. So we were looking at photo etch tools, benders, pliers uh, and everything else like that. And I think we all agree photo etch is one of those areas where it can be, you know, quite troublesome uh, trying to get it to work uh, and it's a handful. It's one of those skills which is a skill you learn and you develop over time. So uh, to get those folds nice and crisp and that but there's plenty of tools out there that can help with it so we're looking at bending pliers uh, bending tweezers and then obviously looking at various bending uh, plates as well so to get those nice crisp edges in there as well so me and John were talking around about uh, half an hour on that particular one and demoing a few little uh, areas on there so if you want to watch that one that was Tuesday show we've also got the links to the uh, the items we were discussing down below as well so you can go off and see those and then last night, obviously, sorry, then on Wednesday, it was the PM show. Lovely to have Andy back as well, obviously, after his operation. Uh, he's still recovering at home from that one, but he was on with us. So we were talking the usual thing, all things that have come into the PM store, all things kit related, what's going on with the hobby, uh, some really nice stuff, which we'll have a look around at the PM store we've had in this week. And also they've had a huge restock of various paints, uh, AK stuff, Tamiya, uh, and stuff like that. So good on those. So if you want to see that one, it's around about an hour as we're talking talking our way through those and the pre-orders and what's going on with things. Last night was the live show. Uh, as you can see, I've changed the thumbnail, uh, the thumbnail over yet. Uh, but, you know, we were talking, as you can imagine, usual banter right the way through. But also we were talking about kits when they become classic, modern classic, vintage, heritage uh, kits and everything else. And I think we came away after, you know, basically just over an hour and a half of discussing it, that there is no timeline. You can't say that if anything's over 25 years, because there's some real gems out there of kits that are still as good today as they were when they were released 25 years ago. And then obviously there's other ones where manufacturers drag up some really old stuff and bring back. And my gripe to it really is, I don't mind it as an old kit, as long as it's perhaps got the vintage artwork with it. And obviously the price has to reflect it as well. You can't release a kit that you released 50 years ago and you've added inflation onto it and you're charging AAA money for it. And there is some manufacturers out there, and I've often spoke about them, been on rants on them as well, who do that. Uh, other ones like Airfix now have really stepped up to the plate. You know, they've got the old box art. There's a nice little logo on there, an emblem saying it's a classic kit as well. So you know exactly what you're getting into when you're buying some of the old, more you know, troublesome kits, shall we say. But also we were discussing how how the hobby has changed from a development point of view and going from analog of you know plumb lines and yardsticks for working out a scale model to now obviously we've seen with Pramjet He's done lots of things with us as well from Airfix as a designer, how they do it these days with LiDAR, original plans, scans and drawings and things like that to work theirs out. And obviously it's all digital and it's done in CAD these days. So again, from that point of view, it's sort of two worlds apart. And what we're going to try and do is get these two together on a show uh, and they can discuss it because we think that would be really, really interesting. So we're going to see if we can make that one happen. But it was really good in, uh, you know, conversation. You guys were joining in at home as well uh, in the Flory chat room. So uh, good on. But it's a really interesting one, that one. I, I did enjoy that. Also, as we look at the moment, we had the uh, Bronco review. Uh, that was up with you uh, yesterday as well, but we'll, we'll look at the reviews in a moment. So this week, really for me, I've been pushing on very nicely, as you can see down in here with the sub. So she's starting to take shape now. We've got the decals onto it, which, you know, it makes up four down each side for these long ones. So they're a handful, but she's come along really, really nicely. She's very much looking the part. We've done the base for it and things like that. So next week, you're going to be catching up with this. So there's going to be another two parts on 
this one. We'll get the weathering on this because that's the next what this is actually waiting for uh, and we'll go through the motions on that one. I'm actually on holiday the back end of next week but early part of next week I want to work on this one uh, to get it all weathered up and finished off and make our way through. So fear not submarine fans, she is coming, she's looking very much the part and I have to say I've really enjoyed it. It's something, you know, a lot of sounding and filling and doing that, you know, the sort of, you know, bread and butter stuff of modelling but actually it's worked, it's looking the part, very, very happy of how it's coming along. The other thing as well we do in this week is all about the Spitfire. So the Spitfire is something that I've been working on, as you probably know, we've been having the new tutorial series, uh, which is up here now. If you go into the top there, click on tutorials, you got a couple of sections. You got the classics down here at the end, but we are redeveloping or I'm redeveloping these two. So this is talking about the Spitfire in here. And what I've done is I've broken it down into what we call our bite size series. So that's what all of these are on about down in here. So it talks down in this section here from obviously, you know, flash and removing flash and things like that. Basic construction and gluing we've got down in here. Using filler uh, and various scraping, cleaning and things like that up your model as well. As well as obviously then we've got the filler, simple ways of doing it. So using plastic card through to, you know, uh, acrylic fillers to oil, you know, alcohol based ones and so forth and so on. And even super glue uh, right the way through. And then obviously clear parts attached those there down in here and I put in as well some of these other videos as well so we've got one about using CA and talcum powder which is really really old school it probably predates me um, but it works and, and I show it and you can see it in there as well and we talk about rescribing and re-riveting as well so those are down in here and we've got one in here about obviously with sanding and going through the motions of doing sanding how to do that as well as like styrene filler making 3d harnesses polishing and masking canopies is still down in here and dry brushing and oil washes and that is all basically in this as well so it's a good way instead of sitting through perhaps a 40 hour video with me working my way through this over 10 parts what we've actually done is broken it down to 10 to 20 minute videos in specific areas to showcase and detail it right the way through what we've done now though we've moved back here We've got the airbrushing one down in here, which is our new series of airbrushing videos. So down in here, we've got basically all about setting up your airbrush for the first time, you know, talking about how it works uh, and then some of the little uh, troublesome things you can have with it. We've got a couple of the old school ones down in here, which are still good today. So we talk about masks, health and safety, filters, things like that. We talk about spray booths, we talk about compressors, and we talk about basic setup of your airbrush, changing seals, filters, needles, nozzles, all the rest of it down in there as well. Then we've got our little bite sized things down in here, which sort of showcase how to work with it as well. So we've got obviously the airflow and we talk about that and obviously things that can stop airflow, give you trouble with it. And we've got some nice photos in here, close ups as well, showing the difference in nozzles and stuff like that. So hopefully this would be one of these areas you can just pop in here uh, and go through and get all the information you need off of this. Then we talk about obviously paints and paint mixing and how it affects when you're painting it. Then we talk about distance uh, and how that affects it and various things. And then we've sort of gone back to the Spitfire again because we're using it as our, you know, our sort of, you know, uh, showcase piece for this. So we talk about primer, putting down primer all the way through. And then again, you've got high, you know, uh, photos here that show exactly what we're doing in detail. Again, so that's quite nice. Oh, keep doing that. We don't want to do that, do we? Uh, and then obviously down in here, the more you work down, we've come along to the ones that we did at the beginning of the week. So this was painting single colours. So rapid thinners, I really like that stuff. And then we go through the motions in the video about teaching about just spraying down a single colour. Some of the distances, some of the paint mixes uh, and how it should look when it's drying and how it looks when it's dried. And again, as things happen, as it did to me, I had trouble with my airbrush where it literally just stopped. Uh, about how you clear that problem. You know, I call it like a gun jam. So you've got to pump it through, you've got to get rid of it, make sure your airbrush is working correctly, and then you can carry on painting and getting that paint layer down. And we talk about different paint coats, depths, wetnesses, and all the rest of it down through those videos. So if you want to see any of those, that's a good one to look at. And then obviously up with you today, as you can see in here, we talk all about we can go in there we go there's videos obviously you can make these full screen or you can watch them on youtube and all the rest of it but we talk about obviously using a paper template for this one and that's what i've done on here to be honest with you so what i've actually done is i've taken the original plans we've blown them up by 230 odd percent again so it's one-to-one -one scale with the model and then we've gone along and we've cut out those templates and then we've stuck them down with a little bit of tack just to hold them roughly in place not stuck down as in solid hard edge this will give us a nice feathered edge and then 
then we go through and we've shown about painting, how to paint them on there and all the rest of it, how and what we're looking for. So we've got this slightly softer edge than a hard edge on these ones, nice camo job. And then obviously you can see working our way around the entire model with it until we ended up with it all done just like that. Really, really quick, very, very straightforward. Uh, and again, if you're not very good at freehand camo or you're starting out, this is a really straightforward, very quick way of doing it. Obviously there is other techniques, tack worms and all the rest of it, masking fluids, but this is the one I just wanted to showcase of the quickest and easiest way to actually do a camo job on this one. And to be honest, here she is now. So if you were watching last weekend, uh, sorry, last Thursday night, um, we were doing one of our work videos. It's what we call our head down videos. And I did deckling, but we've got videos that are standalone on deckling. So all I did was literally come along with this and uh, started working on this one, putting the decals down onto it. So what this is now ready is for a gloss coat, which it's literally had yesterday, and now we can get in with the weathering. So we're gonna be talking about basic weathering. This entire Spitfire is just a basic build, no frills. What we're gonna do, do is work on other model kits. I've got a Mustang to come down next. Quite a cheap kit, 35 quid kit. And then what we're gonna do is talk about some more of the advanced things into this one. So we'll be talking about advanced airbrushing, obviously advanced weathering with it, uh, and various things and, and techniques to go through so for the basic starting out first time with an airbrush this one is for you and then obviously if you're a little bit more of an old hand at this and you've got the basics down pack then hopefully I might be able to show you a thing or two uh, with the more advanced series of weathering and things that are going to come along with it so again very very nice coming together really well and again I'm quite happy of how we're developing these videos and again say so you have got photos which you can go back to and reference with them and again down in here we've got textures so you can literally come in and we talk about textures and how they look like like so obviously we've got one there very textured medium textured and very little texture down in there and then we talk about obviously how to get rid of texture by sanding it off and we talk about grits and various things of how it looks on paint uh, and all those types of things but all the videos are down in here you can go through and reference those and those are all free to watch as well they're not behind the paywall or anything else you can just see those like that up with you this week as well was the reviews so we said before we did that t90 that's just down in here we've got the photos into this one as well a beautiful 148 scale uh, uh kit on this one so you say it's a two in one really really nice you've got all the high quality photos as well so if you want to click in and have a look at a bit more detail we've got all the photos are in this one as well again so that was a nice one the bronco which to be honest i'm going to build this because it looks really very very nice indeed if I can get it to click, there we go. We've got the video on this one for the review, and then obviously we go through it. I love the way this is raised and recessed details on this one. So you can see beautiful stuff, usual thing of uh, ICM. You've got everything you need, no problem at all. So you've got those gorgeous raised riveting details down the back here with all of those areas, but then on the wings where they are recessed, they are recessed. So it's a beautiful mixture of the two right the way through. And apart from I've got a broken prop, which we'll be showing how to fix that one, uh, you can see it goes together, looks like a really, really nice kit. Uh, beautiful details right the way through on that one, as you can see. Clear parts as always, crystal clear, no problem at all. So that should be a really nice one. So if you wanna see that review, you can go and get it now, that's down in there. And then obviously up with you today is the Alpha Jet. Now this is Nathan's Alpha Jet, it's a little bit blurry, it's literally only just been uploaded in the last two minutes. So uh, this particular one is a beautiful little kit by KP. It does need a little bit of clean up, I'm not gonna lie, it's not one of these crystal clear, you know, obviously really, really sharp kits. There's a little bit of flash around this, it does need taking care of in a few little areas. And again, you've got some ejector pins and it's a bit clunky. But I think by the time you've gone around, if you've sharpened all this up with your clean up, uh, with a sanding stick, it's gonna be fine. It's got nice recessed detail details onto it. So actually it's just one of those, all gonna be about the cleanup with this one, uh, but it's not gonna break the bank at the end of the day and it's a very nice uh, version. They've got Jet A here, but there is the three versions in the box. You do the Canadian one as well as the German one uh, down in there. So that's a very, very nice kit indeed. And that is about it for this week. Uh, a couple of things that have been mentioned, obviously the mugs, don't panic, the mugs are coming in. Obviously it's the new 2022 mug. I know by now we've normally got the prototypes in and all the rest of it. Prototypes will be in next week. I'll check them over, we'll sign them off, we'll make sure we do the pre-order as always. You don't have to pay any money until your, model, model, your mugs even, not models, mugs are actually dispatched. So don't worry about that, they'll come out uh, next week. We'll get them sorted, make sure we are happy, put up the pre-order, you can all sign up for it. And then, then literally uh, what we'll do is we'll We'll, uh, get those out to you just as soon as they come in and then we'll take the monies uh, and all the rest of it from that point of view so no problem with that one at all 
Everybody who's going off to Telford, have a lovely weekend uh, this weekend. Stay safe, as I said before, out there, but hopefully you can meet up with old friends. Obviously, Flory Models, as a lot of the bigger companies aren't actually going this year, uh, but we'll hopefully be back next year when we can get over this horrible pandemic as we make our way through. Last up, it's just to mention, obviously, over at the PM store, we spoke about it on um, uh, the Wednesday show. We've had loads of new stuff coming in down in there. All the kits we spoke about this week are in, and the new arrivals, and the ones we've been doing reviews of this week is making our way through, so they're down in here including the fantastic uh, Sea King which is the Apollo recovery one with all the stuff which I didn't show the thing on Thursday I should have done you can see it here that you get all of that that's fantastic really really good job on that one so that's down all in there and then obviously uh, we've had a load on the special offers some of these damage box ones things like that down in here as well so we've got some really really good ones actually this is selling out fast I didn't realize it was going as quick as this so this is all down in here as you can see and say some of it's damaged uh, stock some of it is just literally on sale so usual thing but keep an eye out because again they had loads of new restocks down in there so if you had your name down for anything then uh, you might notice that obviously there's a lot of AKs come back in stock this week Tamiya paints are coming back in stock this week uh, and a lot of the other stuff which we've been low on so those are all coming through so if you want to grab yourself anything from them you can do as always the links are down below to make our way through that is about it for this week as I said been a really really busy week I've got some good reviews coming up for you next week as well so I have got these two we've got the uh, British uh, AMP for the Wimmick which is basically like all the banana splits mobile and we've got obviously the uh, Barry Sheen bike as well the Suzuki uh, RG500 so that should be a really nice kit as well so I'm going to get both of these kits done for you before I'm away so I'm actually going to be away next week from well basically Wednesday onwards so I'm going to take a couple of few days off as I normally do at this time of the year uh, and then over the weekend so we will have a PM show with you Monday you obviously get the next part of the sub that will be up with you Monday Tuesday tall Tuesday with me that's as normal Wednesday is as normal with the PM show but then obviously Wednesday afternoon I'm going off on holiday for a few days so then I'll be back with you the following Monday as we make our way through so as always on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with great work from the gallery. So until next week, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.